Guys, oh my god. I literally feel better than I've ever felt before. It has been a long time coming, you know? Thank you everybody that watched my video of me shaving my head. It was a very emotional experience being able to shave my head for me and for everyone that's ever hated themselves like I did last year. Thank you so much everybody that loves and supports me because if it wasn't for you guys through the past year then I don't know where I would be right now. Truthfully, I've known for the last couple of months that on the day that it happened to me that I wanted to do it for myself and that is why I haven't ever answered the question whether or not I was going to cut my hair again. By the end of the one year mark, it made me feel really like cute having like a very short haircut with it curly and I could put pins in it and I could put little ponytails in it and um, it was really cool. My hair was getting about long enough to put it in a ponytail after one year, which is probably normal, but I was very excited about it. And I think that's what made the video um, a lot stronger meaning to me and Maybe some other people that you know can relate to me on the whole subject of hair feeling like a big deal, you know, because there's a lot of people clearly out there that disagree, but that's whatever. The fact that I did really like my hair and the fact that I thought my hair was beautiful again, it made it even better. It made me feel even stronger about wanting to shave it off because that is like the biggest life test ever, is if you finally see something externally as beautiful, take it away and try to recreate that same feeling without whatever you perceive as beautiful on you. So going through a lot of the comments over the past few days, um, you guys have made me cry so many times. Reading through some of the comments, it's really cool to see the, the people that saw how strong and how confident I felt as soon as it was all gone this time around. <laughs> but other than the overwhelming amount of support and you know happiness and great comments, there are some that I wanted to touch on, not that I wanted to give light to hatred because I think that is ridiculous to do but it made me realize that I should explain a little bit more I guess because the head shaving video was meant to be cinematic so let's touch base on some of these comments are we gonna watch you do wig reviews for another year um truthfully probably cuz I think wigs are fun. I have an audience that for the most part enjoys those wig hauls and wig videos. I did not have to shave my head to continue doing wig videos. I was actually really excited to see what it was like hiding hair under, you know, a wig because of course I'd never done that before, but that can be something in the future now. I get the message you're trying to put out there, but what does you shaving your head accomplish? I mean, nothing comes from it. Are you donating money to foundations that help with eating disorders? Are you donating clothes or makeup to women's shelters to make them feel beautiful and get ready for job interviews? If you really wanted your hair to send a message, you should have grown it out and donated it to help make a wig for someone who has cancer or alopecia. This is no way meant to give you hate or anything, but I definitely think there are other ways to help than just shaving your head. I absolutely agree. There are a million ways to help out with people and I think words have a lot of value. Taking away something that I worked so hard to, to do and filming it with the message that anyone can do that, I think that has a lot of value. So I'm, I'm sorry that not all of you believe my video could make an impact, but I'm telling you that it does and people have felt it. But you know, absolutely in the future, I am really excited to be giving away more and more of my wigs and donating more and you know, being a part of more foundations and communities that help others. Why did you shave your head, Hannah? Your hair was beautiful. So I actually did respond to this one and I said, I shaved my head because it was beautiful. And I think that is kind of another point of the message. Hannah, not hating, but you were so excited to grow your hair back, I can't believe you shaved it again. I've been watching since the video of your hair falling out and I was excited for you to persevere and try to grow it back, so I kept watching. And I feel surprised you shaved it again after you tried so hard to grow it back. P.S. I love you. I love you too. Um, but again, I did work very hard to grow it back. Again, that was more of the reason why I wanted to take it away. It was just something that, you know, I felt I needed to do and I would gladly shave my head every, every single time I feel my hair is beautiful, I will shave it again every single time if that means that I can save someone from not liking themselves. 
So that is why I was excited to grow it back and I was happily excited to take it away. All right, so let me get this straight. If you don't need your hair to be beautiful, why did you start crying when your hair fell out? Well, my friend, thank you so much for watching my original YouTube video last year, you know, when my hair fell out. But you know what, if I knew that then, that I wouldn't have gone on this whole spiritual journey and, you know, became friends with so many of you guys. So, yeah, what do you mean? And so, everyone is different. My messages, my videos, they mean something to me. And for the people that they mean something to, I'm glad we found each other. And so I know a lot of people won't watch this video that, you know, were the ones with the questions. But my next video will be another wig haul because I've been holding on to some wigs for a few weeks now. And so Saturday's video will be another wig haul. So I am, you know, looking forward to the, uh, comments about shaving my head, you know, for wigs, but that's not the point. And you know, those of you that care and watch my videos and understand, thank you. And you guys mean more to me than any hate comment ever. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for everything you've ever done for me. And um, I will see you guys next time.